Hello, everybody. Today is Thursday, April 6th. It's 3.59 p.m. The regular session for the futures markets is going to close in just less than a minute. On my left is the time and sales for the E-mini S&P, currently trading at 23.54.50. It was a fantastic day for the auto trader. Really, really good. So I have some exciting things to share with you. Before I continue, first, the required disclaimer. Okay, as uh, stated, a great day for the auto trader today. First up is the bonds on the 377 tick line break. I was previously showing this with 10 contracts, but I don't like showing 10 contracts because most traders do not trade a 10 lot, especially in the bonds. So I changed this to a very reasonable two contracts, which is what we usually trade and I loosened the parameters a little bit so that, you know, just kind of let it trade. It still has a fairly tight trailing stop. But anyway, this did three trades here. Three winners did not have a loser, did not take any heat. You can see our three winners here on a line break chart, and this did 1437.50. And I changed our daily goal to 1500. So I'm guessing that this probably hit our daily goal and uh, maybe had a couple of ticks of slippage when it entered a market order when hitting our goal. Okay, so same thing on the bonds with the 150 tick line break chart. We had some excellent performance on this chart. We had a short at 151.19 uh, hitting our first target and then reversing to the long side. So we had two winning trades and no losing trades, ultimately hitting our goal of 1,500, and it looks like we had a tick or two of slippage at the end, so closing at 1,468.75 for the day. Next up is the NASDAQ on the Superenco 10 tick, and we had quite a few trades on this chart, but we ultimately hit our goal of 2,000, uh, trading three contracts on this chart. Okay, next up is the e mini S&P on a 987 tick line break. And I've tightened up the chart here. You can see that we only had one loser uh, probably around 10 a.m. It was pretty much straight up for the day. And we did 1387.50. I think we hit our uh, $1,500 goal and just had a couple of ticks slippage at the end. Okay, this is the E-mini S&P on a 150 tick line break chart, and we rallied in the morning up to an equity high of about 1,000, then we drew down, gave back almost all of it, and then rallied again to close at 11.50. So uh, again, another really strong comeback on the auto trader with some great looking trades here. This is trading three contracts, and our daily goal on this one is 1200 so I believe what happened here is we hit our goal and probably took some slippage on the market order when we hit our daily goal we exit with a market order okay next up is the Dow e-mini on the Superenco 6 tick and kind of the same pattern that we had in the morning we had a drawdown and then a recovery as you can see here we drew down about $500 on the Dow this is trading three contracts but from that point, it was uh, straight up to 995, and I believe our goal on this one is $1,000. So we only had one tick of slippage on one contract. Uh, this one actually hitting its goal today. We've seen this chart quite a bit recently. Okay, next up is the E mini SP on the Superenco 6 tick. This one begins trading at 1230. We had a small loser. Uh, right off the beginning of trading, followed by a solid short trade that caught this uh, sell-off at the 2 o'clock hour. And then another small long that brought us to our goal of 750 for the day. This is trading only two contracts. So another solid performance in the E-mini S&P. Okay, we had a modest gain in the gold of 300 on two trades. The first trade was just a loser of a couple of ticks followed by a short, ending up in 300 for the day. 
looking at a three minute chart, we have, uh, you can see the indicators from the one o'clock hour on uh, gave us some pretty nice signals here. Okay, the crude oil and the Superenco six tick, we've seen an awful lot of this chart and it still continues to give us uh, performance on the positive side of the ledger. There was one loser followed by three winners and closed out at 340 for the day. That's only two, two contracts. The Dow E-mini on the Superenco 10 tick did 445 on three contracts. This is using our line break logic. You can see the line break signals here. And the bonds on our Superenco 6 tick did a modest gain of 312.50. It looks like we had two break-even trades that had some decent profit here, but we have fairly loose parameters on this chart. Otherwise, these would have been really nice winners. This is another line break chart in the crude oil. This is only trading two contracts. This did 370 for the day. And that's it for today's video. If you'd like to find out more, please visit our website at bluewavetrading.com or feel free to contact me at systems at bluewavetrading.com.